Hi ladies, hi ladies, we're in the 222 group of the Total Body Renew and this is what we're talking about. We're talking about what emotions are coming up, what things are coming up for you that's actually stopping and blocking you from actually losing the weight. One of the things that I manage to talk about with so many people when they're going through this kind of program it are the emotions and things that come up. One of the main ones that come up is that they're frustrated, they're beginning to hate their bodies, and anger and resentment. And whoever that's focused at and wherever that's coming from and wherever it's going, it's still there for you to understand what it feels like in your body. And also if you've just spring clean on everything you've got to do with anger. We worked on anger a couple of weeks ago. And if you're going to be doing a spring clean on anger, hello, who's joining me today again? Jess, hi. <laughs> we don't seem to be getting in with this uh, call here, Jess. I'm just going to carry on talking um, because it's just a bit of a catch up as to sort of where everybody's at. And the difficulty when anger comes up or when emotions come up to be cleared always happens whenever we do any kind of detox, whenever we're kind of putting anything away that we've normally dealt with, that we've normally used to suppress the anger, frustration, resentment. Um, it can also be boredom, loneliness, whatever all these emotions are that come up. They certainly need to be looked at and they are coming up because you are here to look at them. The other alternative is just let them go. And to let them go, it would be to tell a completely different story, to try and understand where the first occasion was when you actually felt that anger, who you angry at. We did a lot of work this week on week five, is to do with protection. Our body is protecting us. And if we have anger going along as an undercurrent, it's very likely that um, that is very likely, that is definitely stopping you your body chemically from being able to release the weight. So um, when we spring clean on something, it's very much that we just keep repeating the same questions over and over again. So what have you got on anger? Again, so thanking yourself, what have you got on anger? I asked some of you to buddy up and just see whether you couldn't do some of this spring cleaning on your own because this is very, very powerful work. And as soon as you work out what you've got on anger, it's not for someone else to kind of, share and um, support you in your anger it's just kind of like, right great you've heard your anger what are you going to do about it are you going to start to sort of tell a different story to do with your anger or your frustration or your resentment or your loneliness or what are you actually going to do with it many many times when I've had people doing detoxes with me um, these strong emotions are coming up because basically we've been using food to suppress them we've been using food to kind of not look at those things anymore and now is the time to look at them you're in a safe place to look at those particular emotions and things that are coming up and sometimes they're very difficult to deal with but they don't need to be the emotion is there it wants to be acknowledged the longer that you don't look at it the longer you throw it away and um, ignore it avoid it this particular emotion once you just once you've discovered what it is this undercurrent that's going on, just really get into the real feeling of what the anger, frustration, loneliness, boredom, whatever it is, really, really feel what that emotion feels like in your body. Be very, very aware what it feels like so that you know when it comes up again until you can go through it and come out the other side and you kind of go, I don't need to feel that anger anymore. Your body, your chemistry, your mind, your heart, your soul is just kind of saying, just acknowledge that that's what's happened. Just acknowledge that that's a feeling that's running in your undercurrent and let it go. It's a beautiful experience to be able to do and I was hoping to be able to do it with somebody today um, seeing as we're on that kind of, we're on that journey together. Um, when those feelings and emotions are acknowledged, you can find out whether you think they're true or not, and you can just tip them on their head and you can just let them go. We can blow them into a balloon and we can watch them disappear over the horizon. The, the very energy of them, just find out what it looks like and what it feels like inside your body to hold 
that emotion that's trapped in your body. Sometimes people see them as little gremlins or like a negative spiral. And what we can do is we can just use all the helpers that are around us, all the helpers that we have, all the support mechanisms, and we can just say, please take that away. Just let it leave my body. I've acknowledged it. I've really felt what it wanted me to feel. I've felt that emotion, and now I can let it go. It's, it's a great experience to just watch it sort of drift off out there. And it can be that it's been taken away by the angels. It can be taken away by um, little helpers. It can just be dissolved into the earth. It can be, you know, evaporated into the sky. These things are very important to be able to acknowledge and to be able to do. But at the moment, as long as you keep them, and as long as you hold on to them and you don't kind of go, yes, that did happen to me. Yes, it was awful. Um, yes, I'm angry at this. Yes, I resent that person. Yes, I'm not getting what I deserve. Um, understand that it has a lot to do with you as much as it is on the other person. You're the one holding on to that particular emotion that's running in your undercurrent that you are no longer able, that you're no longer able to um, ignore anymore it's there for you to take hold of and let go of the other way to let go of which we've also already spoken about is tell a different story so i had to rewrite my story from a childhood experience and uh, rewrite a story from um, an ex that i was getting quite angry about because he wasn't able to support me so i just rewrote the story it was difficult to kind of get my head around it but now it's kind of do you know what it happened I see that it happened, and whatever I would rather have happened, I'm telling that story now. And I'm never going to go back to telling those old stories again, because as long as I tell those old stories, I'll be dredging up that, those emotions. And when you dredge up those emotions, you're just going to get more and more of those particular emotions. The way the law of attraction, the way the universe works, if that's what you telling the universe you want to feel by feeling it, it will keep giving you more and more experiences that make you feel that way. So whatever you're feeling, the universe will double. Whatever you're saying, the universe will reproduce for you. Whatever your thoughts are, whatever your undercurrent is, and sometimes you're not conscious of it, that's why when we do work like this, then you become conscious of it. And then it's your work to be able to release it, understand what you want to do with it. So releasing it, letting it go. Help yourselves by doing some of the deeper work that needs to be gone through. This is very important stuff. And it's gonna help you in, with your body. It's gonna help you with your business. It's gonna help you with relationships, loving relationships. And just not to have those emotions dredging down, running down, making you feel down, bringing you down, and hold, held on to and holding on in your body. Um, this has been a very short um, chit chat <laughs> because um, only a couple of you were able to come on, but I just thought it was really, really important for me to sort of go through some of the things that are coming up. And as much as we say, yeah, great story, fantastic, I'm going to keep on doing this, I'm really motivated, we have... I know when I started doing this, I had really high highs and then really low lows. And then what's happened is everything's just balanced out. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to balance everything out so that we don't fall back on food and our body doesn't start craving food instead of all the other great things that we can nurture and nourish ourselves with. Keep it really, really simple. Do what works for you. Stay in a positive vibe as much as you possibly can. That's the best thing that's going to work for you. Keep it high. Keep it light. Don't overthink it. Bring yourself down away from your overthinking head. Do the meditations. Come down into your body. Reconnect with your body. Find out what she thinks, who you want to be. Find out who the woman is that you want to be in the next phase of your life. And start living her. Start living her and then you'll start seeing the evidence. Really, really start living as this woman that you want to be in the next phase of your life. 
She's waiting for you. There's so much more available for you. Let's create what it is that we want rather than staying in all the negative, hurtful feelings. Just throw all those away and let's work towards what you want instead. Otherwise, you're going to keep on going down around in this catch-22 situation and you're never going to get out of the loop. It sounds, it sounds so simple, I know, but sometimes it's very difficult to do because our mind and our ego get so, so involved. And they are protecting us as well. The body is protecting the soul and the mind is protecting the soul. Now the mind has had control all this time and the body is ready to take over more and more of the control to feel our way forwards, to feel what's good for us. But first, let's get rid of some of those undercurrents that are just dragging us down. Get rid of the undercurrent. Let's just get great big high vibes in there. Just start relaxing, meditate, bring ourselves into the state of meditation so we can clear our minds of all the negative thoughts and all the fear and all these emotions that are running up through our body that we're not allowing ourselves to feel, acknowledge and let go of. Right, before I start reminding, I'm repeating myself over and over and over and over and over again, I'm going to say thank you very much and um, keep going, keep going, keep doing this for yourself. It works, it works in the end, but sometimes some people have just a little bit more to clear out than others and that's what this program's about. Speak to you later, bye-bye.